Okay, good morning. And we still have about half a minute, so let's get settled down quickly. We will start soon. Right. Good morning, Jai Krishna. Let's get started. Let's close the eyes, hands in Dhyan Mudra, back straight, relax shoulders. Let's chant three long omkars followed by the opening prayers. Om. Sudev Sutan Devam Kansachanura Madanum Devaki Paramanandam Krishna Vande Jagat Guru Sri Krishna Vande Jagat Guru Om Sana Bhavatu Sana Bhunatu Sahavirum Karama Tejasvena Vadita Mastuma Vidvisha Vahai Om Shanti 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 Skip the eyes closed, join the hands and back of the body. You can interlock the fingers, bow down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Raise both hands up over the body. Inhale, come back up. Rub the palms against each other. Then they pull them, make them bound. Place warm hands over the eyes and face. Blink the eyes a few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. You can spread the fingers apart. Slowly open the eyes. And start with warm up. Light exercise, Sukhna Vyayam, both hands up and down, utilizing the wrist joints, alternate. Just turn the palms into one direction, both them together. Keep the elbows straight, arms still up to the wrist joint, and then reverse the direction. We are utilizing the wrist joints. Now grab the one upper arm and circle the lower arm. Let fingers and palms be completely loose. Reverse the direction. Try to sit tall, back straight, and the other side, utilizing the elbow joint fully. So upper arm will completely still, reverse the direction, and relax. Now swing the arms up and down, forehead, elbows, inhale up, exhale down, 
connect all the fingers together over the shoulders, spread them apart on the floor. Side wave a few times. Shoulders, elbows, wrist joints, all the knuckle joints are fully functioning. Now hold all the fingers together over the shoulders. Left touch both the elbows in the front. Inhale, bringing them up. Exhale, bring them back and down. Inhale up, exhale down. The biggest circle possible. Elbows touch once per rotation in front. Back of the palms also touch. Every rotation once at back of the head. Now reverse the direction. And relax. Now look straight at the level of the eyes. Both hands rested onto the knees. Keep the shoulders and below the whole body completely still. Just head and neck. Deep inhale. As we dip exhale, slowly turn the head towards the right. Align chin with the right shoulder. Feel the stretches at the neck, the neck muscles. Try to look at farthest point in back on right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the second side. Try to stay in pose for at least about five count. Inhale back to center. And do one more time. Four, five. Inhale back to center and complete on to the second side. Back to center. Next inhalation, turn the head towards up. Look up in the ceiling, feel the extension at the throat. Exhale, look down, chin at the chest. Inhale, look up, exhale down, and we will turn the head in circular fashion to right side as we inhale, going upward, and exhale towards left, and down, two more circles, inhale on right, exhale on left. Gentle movement, but with fully consciously. If you have a neck injury in the past, neck pain, do it very slowly. Listen to the body first and complete the third round. And reverse the direction. Now inhale towards left and exhale towards right. Again, shoulder blades will be completely still. Just head and neck. After that, interlock the fingers, place the palms over the forehead. Breathe in and hold the breath as we push the head and palms against each other. Release the breath, release the palm from back of the head. Also try to push elbows towards backward. Exhale, release the palms and one more time front of the head and back of the head with breath coordination. And from side of the head twice, 
both the sides alternatively. both hands up, stretch the upper body upward, As you exhale, twist the upper body to the one side, look back, align chin with the shoulder, keep pushing the knee forward, feel the stretches around the waist muscle and lower back, inhale back to center, exhale to the second side, try to keep the trunk vertical, back straight, so we can feel the stretches better. Inhale, back to center. We will do one more time, both the sides. Do it fully, consciously, mindfully. Inhale, back to center. And complete onto the second side. back, extend both hands on a side way, turn the palms towards back, as we inhale, bring them down, front and up, as we exhale, front, down and back, so do with the breath coordination according to the breathing speed, elbow straight, both arms parallel to the floor. Feel the three-quarter movement at the shoulder joint. And relax. Now extend arms one more time on sideways. Drop the right hand down vertically wherever it reaches. Inhale, raise the left hand up. Stretch the left hand up as we exhale. Bend towards the right side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Raise the left hand up. Sorry, right hand up. Right hand push them towards the ceiling. As we exhale, bend towards the left side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Let's do one more time. Both the sides. Inhale, back to center and complete onto the second side. Inhale, back to center. And let's warm up the waist and below. Straighten the legs. Relax them. Let legs be fully grounded with support of the palms. Make the trunk vertical. We can lean slightly forward. Pull the toes towards the body for a few seconds. Feel some great stress sensations into the calf muscles. Now squeeze and release. Hold the toes a few times. As we inhale, push them forward. As we exhale, pull them back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Few times, both feet together. And alternate few times. Now circle the toes around the heels. The biggest circle possible. And reverse the direction. And 
under the legs. Now fold at the right knee, grab the right folded leg into both the arms, dip inhale as we bring the folded right leg all the way towards the right, feel the extension at the hip joint. The exhale, push it towards left. We are doing Shishu Palanasan. Inhale again towards right. Hold there for at least five count. Exhale, push it towards left. Hold the breath out and hold the pose for at least three counts. Last time, inhale all the way right. Exhale all the way left. And gently rest the right foot onto the left thigh, interlock the right toes with left fingers. Keep pushing the right knee down to the floor. Left leg remains straight, left toes pointed out. And bring knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor. Exhale, bring it to the chin. Couple more times onto the right side. Each time when we push the knee down, we should try to keep our trunk vertical. And relax and rest the right leg. Now fold at the left knee and get left shoulder leg into both the arms. Shishu Palanasan towards left as we deep inhale. Push the folded left leg all the way towards left. Feel the extension at the left hip joint. Exhale. Bring it back towards right. Inhale towards left. Hold the breath in and hold the pose for at least five count. Then bring it back towards right. Hold the breath out for three count. Hold the pose, and last time. And slowly rest the left foot onto the right thigh, interlock the left toes with right fingers. Keep pushing the left knee down to the floor. Right leg remains straight, right toes pointed out. Bring the left knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down to the floor. Exhale, bring it to the chin. A couple more times. both the legs. Let's fold the right knee and grab the right upper leg in both the hands. Inhale, straighten the knee. Exhale, hold it. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. One more time. Try to stretch towards out. Exhale, down. And we will circle. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. And also let the toes guide the direction of the circle. And reverse the direction. Now straighten the leg and try to grab the ankle or heel or the foot, wherever you can reach. Try to keep the knee straight and raise the leg up as high as possible until the point we can keep our knee straight. Inhale, exhale, normal. Now deep inhale. As we exhale, try to bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, back and relax. Straighten the right leg. Hold and grab the left upper leg, 
Inhale, straighten the knee, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, utilizing the knee joint. Down and circle. You can do it breath coordination. You can let the toes guide the direction. Three to four circles in one direction. Then reverse the direction. And straighten the left knee. Grab the left foot. Raise it up. Inhale, exhale, normal. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, try to lower the head and bring close to the left knee. Inhale, back and relax and rest. Both the legs can separate a couple of feet apart with help of both the palms at the back. You can relax the upper body. You can roll the toes in and out a few times while keeping the knees straight, legs fully grounded. We can feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. And relax, come back. Form at both the knees. Align the feet. We will do Titaliyasan butterfly pose. Interlock the fingers, place them over the toes. Thumbs will go directly under the big toes. Bring knees all the way up, all the way down. One more time, all the way up. Just making sure the biggest joint of the body have no issues. And then we can split up. Left up and down, just like butterfly wings. You can raise the knees even up higher to create the momentum. Our goal is to push or bring the knees all the way to the floor. Let's see if we can hit the floor. Okay, now stop clapping and pull the heels inward. All the way in, as much as possible. So our perineum is closest to the hips. Now keep pushing the knees down to the floor. Keep the back straight. Close the eyes and keep awareness at the pelvis area and hip joints and feel the stretches. Now deep inhale and hold the breath in lower abdomen and notice the extra stretches. Exhale, deeply inhale again and hold the breath in lower abdomen for about seven counts, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, let's do two more times. Each time when we deeply breathe in, hold the breath for seven counts. Make sure our back stays straight, knees are pressed down to the floor. Do with your own pace. done and slowly open the eyes and roll the body side by side and move the upper body away from the hills. So hills will stay at the same place or upper body as we roll just keep pushing it back so make a distance about one foot between hills and perineum then we can stop still grab the toes tightly Align head, neck, and trunk. So previous pose was Bhaddasan. And now we are doing Bhadda Konasan. Deep inhale. Edvidip exhale. 
bend down, try to bend from the lower back, bring the forehead onto the toes. Inhale, come back up. We'll do second time, longer duration. Exhale, bend down. Use the folded elbow to push the lower legs backward in order to bring the upper body further forward and down. We can inhale, exhale in pose. Each exhalation, we will try to push the trunk and head go further down and down. and let's sit into any comparable cross leg posture Siddhasan, Sukhasan, Half Lotus or Full Lotus it's your choice but you should keep the back straight trunk vertical bring both hands sideways as to Parvatasan as we inhale, bring both the hands together in front of the chest in a pram with full awareness. Exhale. Inhale again. Raise both hands up. Rest them onto the top of the head. Exhale. Inhale again. Extend them all the way up. Both palms are aligned. Biceps at the ears. We can inhale, exhale normal in this pose. But we should do one long exhalation as we start lowering the hands, bring them back onto top of the head, at the chest, and all the way down. So three inhale exhale getting into the pose, and one long exhalation coming out of the pose. So let's do two more times. Do with the closed eyes. Keep the awareness into the body fully. All these movements and do with breath coordination. Next, we will do Vastrika Pranayam. Bring both the hands sideways, palms facing ceiling. Try to keep the back straight, trunk vertical. As we deeply inhale, raise both hands up. Bring them over the head, bringing them closer to each other. Hold the breath in for a couple of seconds, hold the pose. As we exhale, start separating both the palms, bring them down, coordinate with breathing speed. So as soon as we breathing out fully, our palms will reach down, hold the breath out for a couple of seconds, hold the palm, then inhale, bring them back and close the eyes while keep doing breathing in and out deeply, fully with hands movement. You can add the visualization each time when we're breathing in and raising the hands up. Visualize that there is a white energy of light started swirling around our body, throughout the body. 
and we start exhalation bringing the hands down that time visualize that that energy is start entering into the body from the head going down towards the neck shoulders trunk legs all the way to the toes and bring some some um, happiness into the body some energy into the body the last round if you are bringing your hands down then keep them down breathe in and out normal after that slowly open the eyes next we'll do surya bhadan pranayam Make a Vishnu Mudra on right hand, roll first two fingers into root of thumb. Deeply inhale on right and deeply exhale on left. So one way only, each time we will inhale on right and each time we will exhale on left. We can use thumb and the ring fingertips to block and block the left right nostrils as needed. We try to do slowly but deeply breathe in and slowly deeply breathe out on left and complete the round. Next, let's bring both the hands into Vayu Mudra. Roll first fingertip into root of thumb and relax, rest both the hands. We will do Kapalbhati Pranayam. Sit tall, deep inhale and we will exhale in multiple exhalations but with force forcefully but multiple exhalations so once we complete the exhaling then we will inhale fill up the lungs again and we will do second time in multiple exhalations we will complete empty the lung so keep on doing frequency of the stroke you can keep as per your comfort level usually we can say one per second that's normal breathe out then breathe in and out normal keep the eyes closed let's bring the body into sambhavya mudra open up the palms towards ceiling keep the body completely still tilt the head slightly upward and keep awareness in between the eyebrows for 10 more seconds 
Feel the vibrations, let them come down, let the energy get absorbed into the body. And come back. Okay, next, as to variation of Bastrika Pranayam, make loose fist at the shoulders, folded elbows at the ribs, deep inhale and deep exhale, just normal. Then forcefully, if you inhale, raise both hands up, open up the palms, forcefully exhale, make a fist at the shoulders, inhale up, exhale down. If you have heart problem, blood pressure issue, do it very slowly. And bring the body into Sambhavi Mudra. Breathe in and out, normal. For 10 seconds, completely still. back and we will do a similar one slight different just one round normal breath in and out deep breath in and out and inhale forceful up down front back sideways back for 10 seconds, feel the vibrations, let them calm down, let the energy get absorbed into the body. And relax. Let's straighten the legs, do some stretches. Start with Upavishta Konasan. Legs are fully grounded, knees straight. Raise both hands up, look up, deep inhale. We can lean down slightly backward to accommodate more air. Fully exhale, bend forward and down. Grab the feet, try to bend from the lower back. Inhale, come back up. Second round, Upavishta Konasan. Fully exhale. Bend down, grab the feet, stay longer by inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, we will keep pushing our head and trunk further down and down. Inhale, come back up. Now fold at the left knee. Bring the left heel at the perineum. Turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the right leg. Inhale, raise both hands up. Look up. Fully exhale, bend down. Grab the right foot equally with both the hands and bring forehead onto the right knee. Inhale, come back up. Second time, same side, Janu Sirsasan for longer duration. Fully exhale, bend down, grab the foot, and inhale, exhale, normal. Each exhalation, we will keep pushing our forehead further towards the right knee. 10, 9, 8, 7, 2, one. Inhale, come back up. Next, we'll do Parivrutta Janu Sirsasan. Grab the right big toe with right hand. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, bring the left hand also onto the 
right big toe keep looking up the whole upper body is rested onto the right leg relax the lower back inhale come back up and we will switch the side first we will do janu sirsan towards left turn the shoulder blade perpendicular to the left leg inhale both hands up look up fully exhale bend down grab the left foot equally with both the hands forehead closer to the left knee inhale come back up second time same side longer duration fully exhale bend down keep pushing head and tongue further down and down with each exhalation so inhale exhale normal 10 9 8 to 1 inhale come back up and let's do parivrutta janu sirsasan do with breath coordination smooth the hands on to the left big toe keep looking up the whole upper body is rested on to the left leg relax the lower back inhale come back up straighten and extend the right leg separate feet far apart let's do chakki chalanasan interlock the fingers reverse the palms deep inhale and lean backward turn the palm towards one side exhale bend down holding the trunk low bend the upper body to the other side inhale coming back up try to keep the elbow straight and palms all the time at the shoulder level three to four rounds into one direction and then three to four rounds in reverse direction you can keep the eyes closed and keep the awareness at the lower back and waist area and notice how the stretches are circles move from side to side as we make circles great that was chakki chalanasan grinding pose and bring both the legs closer koi koi to haji chakki chalanasan chale se okay let's conclude pache lot vadare jeno thai jaye okay next we we'll do paschimottanasan inhale raise both hands up lean slightly backward fully exhale bend forward and down tuck the stomach inward that means apply udyan band grab the feet keep pushing the head towards the knees as long as we can hold the breath out inhale come back up second round paschimottanasan fully exhale bend forward and down while applying the udyan band means tucking the stomach inward inhale come back up and next we'll do complementary pose purva uttanasan can do with the folded knee if you are unable to do this pose fully otherwise you can keep the knee straight heels on the floor palms at the back on to the floor next inhalation we will raise the lower back up look back into the wall into the back wall push the toes down to the floor elbow straight 
body will assume a straight line from back of the head to the heels. Very slowly, you bring the body back, down onto the floor, sit into Dandasana, L shape, the pole pose. And let's do Marityasana next. So hold at the right knee, bring the right foot closer to the left knee, but try to slide it out a little bit, about five to six inches away from the left knee, inhale, Raise the right hand up as we exhale, bend forward and try to pass the right hand inside out of the right knee. Left hand will go directly at the back and connect both the hands. Once we have a good connection of the hands, correct the posture, trunk, neck, head in one vertical line, left leg straight, left toes pointed out. Inhale, exhale, normal. Deep inhale. As we exhale, push the trunk forward and down. Hold the pose as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale, come back, release both the hands. Straighten and relax the right leg. And we will do Marichi Asan onto the other side. The reason we're keeping the, the foot away from the other knee is so there is a greater chance of connecting both the hands at the back or at the side of the body. Do with breath coordination, with fully consciously. Once we make a good connection on the hands, correct the posture, inhale, exhale, normal. In all of these poses, Anytime when you feel that your hands are not reaching each other, you can always use some kind of props. Could be a rope, belt, strap, a cloth, napkin would be a good idea too. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, push the trunk forward and down. And feel the pressure at the lower left abdomen. That's where the spleen is, the barrel in Gujarati, we call it barol, the spleen, that is uh, the body part that is responsible for our immune system. And let's try to do, this is a little risky for me, it's been a while, I haven't did this pose, but let's try to do Akarna Dhanurasan. So keep both the legs straight, use the left first two fingers and grab the left big toe with help of the thumb just grab the left big toe completely then hold at the right knee and grab the right ankle or right heel with the right hand and we will pull the right foot and try to shut down the right ear akarna dhanurasan And we will try to switch the side. We'll do on to the second side. I see several people trying very well. Don't worry if you are able to do just halfway, that's okay. But you have to keep on practicing. Back. And after that, let's hold at both the knees. We do Gom Krasan, Cow Face Pose. You can adjust the heels and knees. So knees will be on top of each other and close as close as possible. Whichever side knee is up, that side hand will go up. And with the help of the other hand, we will push it down. 
then we can bring the other hand up and try to connect both the hands either directly or with help of any kind of props as I mentioned in earlier pose. Once we have a good connection on hands, correct the pose, head, neck, trunk in vertical line. You can close the eyes, you can scan the body internally to see our connection with the mat, our body part by body part, joint, muscles. Or you can also do some stretches, deep inhale, deep exhale, and try to bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back up. Release both the hands. And let's do Ardha Machandrasan. So whichever knee is up, pull it up a little bit and that side foot will go a little bit further so align it with the other knee and whichever knee is up that side hand will go at the back align it with the spine at the back closer to the body inhale raise the other hand up as we exhale bring the hand down around the knee push it toward the other side and try to grab the ankle Turn the head towards back, align the chin with the shoulder at the back. Feel the extra twist. You can inhale exhale in the pose, but as soon as you're coming back from the pose, you should inhale and come back into the pose. Now switch the leg position. First, we will do Gomukhasan. So, knees are closer on top of each other. Bring the one hand at the back. And then, let's try to connect with the other hand. I have a little difficulty on connecting when I bring my right hand from the down. Dip inhale, dip exhale. Try to bring the forehead onto the knee. Inhale, come back. Release both the hands. Relax. And we will transition into Ardha Machandrasan onto that side. Do it breath coordination. And with full awareness. come back to center and relax get into Vajrasan and relax a little bit breathe in and out normal you can feel the body internally you might still feel some kind of sensations into the joint muscles or any body parts Let's separate the heels a little bit and try to sit directly onto the floor. So that is Virasan. Our back still remains straight. Come back to Vadrasan, sitting on the hills. Thunderbolt pose or diamond pose. 
let's do parsvadrasan with help of both the palms lift the upper body up and sit onto the right side of the heels so first the right hand will stay in floor a little bit while our trunk stays in a balance should not be collapsed and try to engage the waist muscles once we engage the waist muscle we are confident that our body will remain straight still slowly we can lift the right hand and we can bring the palms into pranam now let's bring our left palm onto the floor towards left side inhale raise the right hand up as we exhale slide the left palm out further towards left and bend towards left side while keep looking up into the ceiling the right hand will be dropped towards left side as well feel the full stretches into the right side of the trunk compression on the left side of the trunk inhale come back and gently bring the body back into vajrasan for few breath in and out so the previous pose we did variation from parsva vajrasan was a mermaid pose now let's transition to the left side bring the body towards left of the heels if if i let the right if, if i let the hand immediately go my body might collapse but once i am still i engage my muscles make sure they will hold my body straight and i can just let both the palms go so my head neck trunk i see some people head is like this now try to keep it up it should be up head neck trunk palms in one vertical line and let's do the variation the mermaid pose so right palm on to the right side on the floor left hand up inhale exhale bend towards right side keep looking up into the ceiling keep pushing the left hand down towards the right and come back gently bring the body back into vajrasan next we'll do mandukasan spread the knees just a little bit away from each other not too far away extend both hands forward make a tight fist keeping thumbs inside deep inhale hold the breath in lower abdomen then place top of the fist in between the rib cage and navel now forceful exhale as we bend down <laughs> but without leaving the heels so our heels and hips still connected push head and trunk as low as possible when we can no longer push the trunk further down hold it there and tilt the head up inhale come back up so let's do the same sequence so we can have the maximum pressure at the solar plexus tight fist deep breath in hold the breath then place fist into the proper point fully exhale forceful bend down and tilt the head up inhale come back up and as a complimentary we will do backward bending so you can do the pose from virasan or you can sit into vajrasan either way in both the cases with help of the palms at the back try to lean down try to lay down on a floor make sure the knees stay on the floor 
and bring back of the head and the whole back onto the floor. Separate the shoulder blade apart so the portion of the back in between the shoulder blade also rests onto the floor. Raise both hands up and bring them down so palms will be rested onto the thighs. Close the eyes and relax the lower back, relax the hip joints, thigh muscles, knee joints, calf muscles and try to keep awareness on those body parts which we just relaxed. Supta Vajrasan or Supayan Vajrasan. Sthiram Sukham Asanam. Patanjali, the main sutra. So whenever you need to come out of the pose, grab the ankles, push the elbows into the floor and bring the body up back into the initial pose it could be virasan or vajrasan whichever you have started now bring both the palms beside the feet back of the palm on the floor separate the knees same as the mat width to accommodate our stomach area deep inhale as we deep exhale now bend the back Try to bring the top of the head in between the knee on the floor and full relax. Relax shoulders, relax lower back, hip joint. Deep breathe in and deep breathe out. This is variation of child pose, Shashankasan. Next inhalation, tilt the hand up and bring the body up back to upright position. And let's get onto the knees. So knees on the floor, toes on the floor. Let's do a breathe pose. Seto Vandas, um, sorry, not breath pose. The, what it called? Parigasan, gate pose. So extend the right leg forward. Bring the right hand onto the right leg. Inhale, raise the left hand up. As we exhale, let's slide the right hand along with the right leg. Keep looking up as we bend down completely. Gate pose, Parikasan. Inhale, come back up, and we will switch the side. Do with breath coordination. come back up and we will do one more time again towards the right second time you might go even well and beyond you can reach out to the ankle or even go even further down but don't forget to keep looking up that way body will stay in same plane. Come back, inhale, and we will do second time, on to the other side. Inhale, come back and let's 
उत्कृष्ट तो रिलैक्स लेग्स थाइस फीट हैंड्स स्टो तड़ासन इनहेल गो ऑन द टोस इन ऑल ऑफ द फिंगर्स एंड पाम्स अपसाइड डाउन पुश द इन्वर्टेड पाम्स टोवर्ड द सीलिंग exhale feet flat on the floor again Do one more time and down and let's walk on heels make a two circles around the mat then two circles on the toes around the mat activity activates the lymphatic system throughout the body so it will advantage if we do that so let we come out of the bed Once you're done, then separate the feet about three to four feet apart. Extend or raise both hands up. Keep them parallel to each other. Deep inhale. As we exhale, turn the body towards the right side and try to push the left shoulder out, further out, and we bend down. So over the line. of all the toes on left and right hand sorry uh, the fingertips will be in a same line inhale come back up we'll do one more time same side stretch the body upward exhale and bend down stretch the left shoulder out so our fingertips stay in the same line keep looking up inhale back to center now on to the second side so variation of tiryak tadasan toward left so now right shoulder will be stretched out in order to maintain the line and also try to keep both the arms still parallel to each other keep looking up inhale back to center one more time on to the same side come back up relax now separate the feet at the farthest the maximum keeping the knee straight we'll do trikonasan both hands sideways deep inhale as we exhale bend sideways so one palm will be on to the floor or fingertips other one into the uh, toward the ceiling keep looking up into the ceiling through the palm both arms in one vertical line inhale back to center exhale to the second side inhale come back next we will do the twisted triangle as we exhale grab the big toe with opposite side hand other hand will go 90 degree up 
look up into the ceiling through the palm. Inhale. Back to star. Exhale to the second side. Inhale. Back to star pose. Exhale one more time. Inhale, come back up and complete onto the second side. Come back up. Next, the extended version of this Parivrutta Trikonasan twisted or revolving triangle that we exhale. Bring the one hand outward of the other ankle. And other hand will vertically up. Look up into the ceiling through the thumb. Six, seven. Inhale. Come back up. On to the second side. Revolving triangle. Inhale. Come back up. One more time. Same pose. Try to stay in pose for at least about seven count. And complete onto the second side. Come back up and relax. Move in front of the mat, slightly away from the front edge. Breathe in and out normal. Stay in samasthiti. You can close the eyes and feel the body internally. While I put the Sari Namaskar mantra, you can relax into the pose. So we will do four Sari Namaskars. Okay, roll the roll the shoulders back and down and let's begin Oops. sorry i am going to share the sound first just a second yeah and i'm going to play the file again
possible and push the elbows towards back so the palms will be completely aligned you can hold the pose a few seconds you can turn around so i can see the progress like this say 
if we are they're aligned correctly or they are still at the lower back or good and relax let's do a couple of balance for this the most favorite one is three balls very slowly get into the pose do not rush if you have some issue you can just do the halfway palms at the chest or at the head or all the way up you can gaze a still object at the level of the eyes in front help maintain the balance it's very slowly switching to the second side is extra challenge when we talk in any balance pose but if we are completely calm we are not talking, we have less thought and you will notice that our balance pose is more stable, we can stay longer. Slowly come out of the pose and let's do the second one. Uttishta Hasta Pada Angustasana. Similar way, just lift the one foot up and using the first two fingers on the same side hand, we will grab the big toe, extend the leg in the front first, straighten it, then we will slide it onto the side way, extend the other hand out for the counterweight. If we still maintain a good balance, then we could try to look on the other side. If we still have good balance, we will try to bring the lifted leg to the front and bring it down. Good try. If need any support, maybe use some kind of uh, little bit support from the secure furniture not not the one which has the wheels and complete onto the second side if you haven't yet still trying trying hard good I think we need some uh, um, homework some exercise on okay let's uh, lay down on a stomach for 10 seconds full relax in crocodile pose makarasan Let all the body parts, muscles, joints be on their own, on the gravity. Don't try to hold them. Close eyes. Inhale, exhale, normal. Okay, next we'll do Viparita Lokasan. Bring feet together, stretch the toes towards back wall, chest, chin, shoulder blade on the floor, both hands extended out in the front. Next inhalation, raise the hand, chest, chin up, pull both legs up, look up into the front wall as high as possible. 
only the pelvis area, stomach area stay on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. And very slowly lay down in Makarasan, crocodile pose again. Each time we get into crocodile pose, you might alternate the side of the face. One time you might over a rest the left side, one time right side. Okay, next we'll do Ardha Salabhasan. So bring both the hands under the thigh, both legs together. Chest, chin, shoulder blade on the floor. Next inhalation, raise the right leg up, keeping the right knee straight, right toes stretch out, hold at the left knee and bring the left foot under the right thigh to support the right leg. Inhale, exhale normal, relax the lower back. Slowly with next exhalation, bring the legs back onto the floor. Inhale, exhale a couple of times. And then transition to the second side. When we inhale next, just lift the left leg up and bring the right foot under the left thigh. Left knee straight, left toes pointed out. Relax lower back. Inhale, exhale, normal. Ardha Shalavasan. And very slowly with next exhalation, bring the legs back onto the floor and lay down into Makarasan crocodile pose. Hold, relax for 10 seconds. Feel the sensations coming out from the various body parts. And come back. Next we'll do variation of Dhanurasan, the bow pose. Hold at both the knees and cross the legs. Now grab the ankles right to left and left to right. Pull both legs up. Automatically the upper body will be lifted up and hold in pose. Try to look up into the front wall. Pull and hold both the legs up as high as possible. And very slowly bring the legs back, upper body back and 10 seconds crocodile pose full relaxation and turn around Let's lay down on the back We'll do Ardhanaukasan. Half boat pose for that. Lift both the legs and trunk about 30 degree with the floor. Both hands up so we can see the toenails through the fingernails. So knee straight, elbow straight. Just 30 degree with the floor. Five, four, Three, two, one, and slowly bring the body down, rest into Shavasan, both hands are extended sideways, feet separated, couple of feet, toes are pointed out, fingers semi-close, palms facing ceiling, breathe in and out, normal, let all the body parts, muscle joints be on their own, each time whenever we get into Shavasan, we should do that. Close eyes, fill the body internally. Next, we'll do Pavan Muktasan. 
hold at the right knee, grab the right lower leg in both the hands, bring the knee closer to the face or closer to the chest, deep inhale. As we deep exhale, lift the head up and bring the head and face together or you can cross them if we have greater flexibility. Hold the pose as long as we can hold the breath out. As we inhale, bring the head back onto the floor, straighten the leg, and switch to the second side. Fold at the left knee, grab the left lower leg in both the hands, bring the folded left knee at the chest, dip inhale, as we deep exhale, lift the head up and cross the face and knee. Hold in pause as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale, bring the head back onto the floor, straighten both the legs. Next, let's do Pavan Muktasan with both legs together. Fold at both the knees. Lift both feet up and embrace both lower legs in both the hands. Pull the folded both knees at the chest. Deep inhale. As we deep exhale, lift the head up and try to bring the face and both the knees together. Hold in a pause as long as we can hold the breath out. Inhale, bring the head back onto the floor, straighten the legs, and relax for 10 seconds into Shavasana. Next, let's do leg rotation, or I will say uh, bicycling. Keep it together, bring both palms beside the hips, palms facing down to support the body. Hold at both the knees. Lift both feet up and start pedaling. Pretend that we have biggest bike. So our knees are folded fully and they are straightened fully. Each time we straighten the knees, that side the toes will be pointed out and when we fold toes will be pointed back 10 pedal forward and then 10 pedal backward Once you complete, then relax, rest in Shavasana for 10 seconds. Feel the sensation of relaxation coming out from the legs. Next, we'll do Uttan Padasan. Get fit together, palms beside the hips, palms facing down to support the body. Next inhalation, lift both legs up, keeping the knees straight. Now stretch the toes toward the ceiling. Hold in a pose for at least 15 more seconds. Legs are perpendicular to the floor. Start lowering the legs just inch by inch, very slowly, gently. Don't fold at the knees. Engage the core muscles to have the full control on the lowering legs. Continue stretching the toes out. Let them rest very softly. And relax in Shavasana for 10 seconds.
Okay, next, let's do the category of uh, like Markatasan kind of Katipin Vardhanasan pose. So, both legs together, hold at the knees and lift the feet a little bit up, not too much. Extend both hands sideways, right to right, left to left, palms facing down. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, drop both the knees, the folded legs towards left and turn the head towards right. Inhale, back to center, our feet are lifted up. As we exhale to the other side, the legs onto the floor together towards right, head towards left. Feel the full twist. Come back to center. We can lift the leg a little bit up and do the same thing one more time. Exhale towards left. We can hold our legs a few inches away from the floor and experience the twist. Inhale back to center. Exhale toward the second side. Our turning the head onto the opposite side. Come back to center and relax in Shavasan for 10 seconds. Next we will do the inversion. We can do Sarvangasan or the shoulder stand. From shoulder stand, if you like, you can do Halasan or Viparit Karni. If you are unable to do any of these variations, then you can get into Matsyasan and stay in Matsyasan until everyone until, until everyone else get into that pose. So for a shoulder stand, we should jerk the body upward and get onto the shoulders, straighten the knees, stretch the toes toward the ceiling, both palms at the lower back to support the body. From here, if you are able to do halasan, you can do that. You can slowly drop the legs further down toward the floor, over the head. Come back to the shoulder stand again. Now slowly bring the upper back onto the floor, mid back on the floor, lower back on the floor, and bring the legs on the floor. And rest in Shavasan for 10 seconds. So next, let's join everyone else into Matsyasan. Matsyasan you can do with the folded legs. We can like just like a cross leg posture. We can bring them together. Then we can lift our whole upper body up with help of the elbows. And we can bring the top of the head back onto the floor. Or if you can keep the legs straight, then make sure our toes are pointed out. And we're going to keep our trunk area completely off the floor and top of the head. In both the cases, the top of the head should be rested on a floor. We should be able to look back. And we are getting ready for the yoga nidra. Let's lay down in Shavasan. If you like, you can turn the lights down. You can cover yourself up. You should be fully comfortable. You can adjust your audio, whatever you like to do. And 
lay down in Shavasan, inhale, exhale, normal, fully focus into breathing only, and let's follow the instructions. आपका ध्यान सांस के चलने पर है जब आप सांस ले रहे हैं और जब सांस बाहर निकल रही है उस वक्त पेट चेस्ट और कंधों में जो मूवमेंट्स हो रहे हैं उनका अनुभव करें बाहर निकलने वाली हर सांस के साथ आपका शरीर धीरे धीरे शिथिल और शांत होता जा रहा है अब मैं जिस अंग का जिस हिस्से का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। मैं जिस अंग का नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएं। दाएं पैर का तलवा दाएं पैर का पंजा उंगलिया अंगूठा दाएं पैर की पिंडली घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक आपका ध्यान पूरे दाएं पैर पर रखें अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो अपने दाएं पैर में भरपूर आराम पाएंगे दाएं पैर में जो आराम महसूस हो रहा है उसका अनुभव करें पूरे पैर में आराम है मानो पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं पैर के तलवे पर ले जाएं बाएं पैर का तलवा पंजा उंगलिया अंगूठा बाएं पैर की पिंडरी घुटना और घुटने से लेकर कमर तक पूरा बाया पैर इस वक्त आपके ध्यान में है आप अपने पूरे बाएं पैर का अनुभव कर रहे हैं अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरे बाएं पैर में आराम है पूरे पैर में आराम गहरा आराम और पूरा पैर नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान एक साथ दोनों पैरों पर ले जाएं, दोनों पैरों का एक साथ अनुभव दोनों पैर गहरे आराम में हैं। अनुभव करें दोनों पैर निद्रा का मनो अनुभव कर रहे हो अब मैं जिस हिस्से का नाम लूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएंगे कमर हिप्स पीठ सीना पीठ हर जगह पे ध्यान ले जाए कमर हिप्स पेट सीना पीठ और अब एक गहरी सांस लेकर जब आप छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि ये हर जगह पे गहरा आराम है गहरा आराम अब अपना ध्यान अपने दाएं हाथ पर ले जाएं, कंधे से लेकर 
उंगलियों तक पूरा दाया हाथ जाने के दाए हाथ में क्या हो रहा है अनुभव करें और एक गहरी सांस लेकर के जैसे ही छोड़ेंगे आप तो पूरे हाथ में आराम पाएंगे अनुभव करें दाएं हाथ में गहरा आराम है मनु पूरा हाथ नींद में हो अब अपना ध्यान बाएं हाथ की ओर ले जाएं और बाएं हाथ का अनुभव करें कंधे से लेकर उंगलियों तक पूरा बाया हाथ जाने कि वहां पर क्या हो रहा है और अब जब आप एक गहरी सांस लेकर छोड़ेंगे तो पाएंगे कि पूरा बाया हाथ गहरे आराम में है निद्रा में है अब एक साथ दोनों हाथों का अनुभव करें दोनों हाथ एक साथ एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़े और दोनों हाथों में आराम पाए गहरा आराम अब जिस अंग का मैं नाम कहूंगा आप अपना ध्यान वहां पर ले जाएंगे गर्दन जबड़े गाल ओठ नाक आंखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपरी हिस्सा जाने के वहां पर क्या हो रहा है गर्दन जबड़े गाल होठ नाक आंखें कान कपाल सिर का ऊपरी हिस्सा एक गहरी सांस लेकर के छोड़ेंगे ये सब गहरे आराम में चला जाएगा अनुभव करें फिर से एक गहरी सांस लें और उसको छोड़ते हुए पूरे शरीर का एक साथ अनुभव करें पूरा शरीर गहरे आराम में है गहरी नींद पूरा शरीर गहरी नींद की अवस्था में है मगर आप जागरूक है इस वक्त यू आर कॉन्शियस आप अलर्ट हैं और इस शरीर की पूरे शरीर के कण कण की गहरी नींद के साक्षी बने हुए हैं अनुभव करें पूरे शरीर में कण कण में जो गहरे आराम का अनुभव हो रहा है उस अनुभव में रहें अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब पांच कहूंगा आप स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश और तरोताजा होंगे अब मैं एक से पांच की गिनती करूंगा जब मैं पांच कहूंगा आप स्वस्थ होंगे फ्रेश तरोताजा होंगे एक दो तीन पांच की गिनती पर आप फ्रेश होंगे स्वस्थ होंगे चार पांच रेज बोथ हैंड्स अप ओवर द बॉडी रब द पाम अगेंस्ट इट अदर मेक देम वार्म जनरेट ऊर्जा प्लेस वार्म हैंड्स ओवर द आईज एंड फेस ओपन एंड क्लोज आईज फ्यू टाइम्स इन डार्क स्लोली जेंटली Open the eyes as we slide the hands down. Now fold at both the knees <coughs> and roll the body onto the right side. Stay on right core. 
couple more breath in and out. Very gently, slowly, bring the body up, back into any comfortable sitting posture. And let's do some pulling down. Let's do Chandra Bhadan Pranayam. So we'll deeply inhale on left and deeply exhale on right. So one way only. Make a Vishnu Mudra on right hand, first two fingertip into root of thumb. Deep inhale on left, deep exhale on right. One way only, so we can use thumb and ring fingertips to block and block nostrils as needed. Should bring our folded right elbow sideways at the level of the shoulders. Conclude when we breathe out on right. Next we will do Anulom Vilom Pranayam. Left to right, right to left. Again similar way. Vishnu Mudra on right hand. Deep inhale on left. Deep exhale on right. Deep inhale on right. And deep exhale on left. So this time will be full round trip. If you like to chant any slok, any mantra, along with breathing, you can go ahead and do that. Complete the round when we breathe out on left. Complete the mantra if you are chanting in mind. Next we will do three Brahmari Pranayam. In Brahmari we generally use the thumb tip to block the ear canal and the fingers will go on the face. Ring fingertips go onto the nostrils, put some pressure to control the air. We will deep breathe in and we will chant like Makar, it's going to sound like B. So I think most of you know that. So let's do three Brahmri followed by 10 seconds of Sambhavi Mudra. Mm -hmm.
and let's come back. Let's conclude the session. Back straight, relax shoulders, close the eyes. You can bring the hands into Dhyan Mudra or we can bring the palms on top of each other into the lap. We will chant Mahamrutinja Mantra three times, everybody together. <coughs> that will followed by a meditation. Today we might do a couple of minute meditation. During meditation time, try to keep awareness continuously onto the Sahasrara Chakra, the crown of the head. And that will, we will end with one Omkar and clothing prayer. So let's start with Mahamrutinja Mantra, everybody together three times. Om Trayambakam Yajamare Sugandim Pushtivardhanam Purvarukame Vandana Dhrutyur Pukshiyamavrutat Om Trayambakam Yajamare Sugandim Pushtivardhanam Purva Rukame Vandana Nathyur Mukshiyamamrita Om Trayambakam Yajamare Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Purva Rukame Vandana Nathyur Mukshiyamamrita Satoma Satgamaya Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya Brutyurma Brutam Gamaya Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Pastit Dukhabhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Let's rub the palms against each other. Make them warm, generate Urja. Cover the eyes and face under the warm hands. Move the palms over the eyes, fingers crossed over the forehead. Gently massage the eyelid. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down over the face. Gently open the eyes. Rub the palms <coughs> one more time. Place them on top of the head, back of the head, neck, shoulders, arms. Trunk, legs, back, throughout the body to spread the energy within. 
Haryom Tatsat Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha. That concludes the session. I'm going to unmute you guys and we'll be here for a few more seconds. Have a wonderful day and wonderful rest of the weekend. You all are unmuted. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Just bless you. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. 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 Everybody to everybody. Everybody, thank you. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. And welcome back. Thank you. Thank you, Bakul Bhai. Thank you, Mano Vagari Chalo Rakhwa Badal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you Florida to there? Yeah, Florida to there. Yeah. So that's